Well, hello there. Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Drinks. Today I'll be drinking a selection of Turkish teas, and I received these very kindly from Iris and Phil. Thanks you guys so much for sending these to me. Iris and Phil actually live in Canada, so via Canada I received a little piece of turkey. And they also sent me a little stick of gum, which I'll eat at the very end. But let's begin with the teas. Here are the little teas, and Iris, thanks so much for sending me a little bit of your own personal stash. So the directions say to steep these at 100 degrees C, which is boiling, and to steep them for about 3 to 5 minutes. So like that. And I believe some of them you can have also chilled. You can have them iced, which would be lovely in the summer. But since we're in spring right now, I'm just going to have them hot. So I've got my kettle of hot water here. And let's go ahead and brew these up. This is called Narchilek, and this is pomegranate and strawberry. Let's open that one up. Ooh, smells lovely. And I shall pour some hot water and allow that to steep. Ooh, it's already turning pink and smells very strawberry-like. Next we have mini, and this is an herbal one, and Iris and Phil say this one is popular among children. So, let's give that one a sniff. Oh, speaking of children, that's my son, but we'll let him sleep. Put that in there. Add some hot water. And that's mini. Self-tali cayesol. And this one is an apricot peach. So. Ooh, this one smells great too. And we'll put that one here. Yesol chai, which is green tea. Hmm, that one doesn't really smell much at all. So we'll put that one in the, whoa, in the Japanese cup. And the last one we have is Elmo, which is apple. Here's the Nars Chilek, and it's brewed into this beautiful pomegranate color. And it smells great. It smells really fruity and Slightly tart. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Come by. Mmm. That's nice. There's a little bit of tartness. Really lovely, subtle, fruity flavor. Almost berry-like. I wouldn't necessarily say pomegranate-like. Yeah, very berry-like. But it is pomegranate and strawberry, so that would make sense. Delicious. Nice. Very soothing and warm. This is the mini one, which is the herbal one. Ooh, and it smells very chamomile. So lovely. Hmm, and it is. It's really subtle and beautiful. Not too strongly chamomile, so I don't feel like it's sleepy time tea. But yeah, a little bit minty chamomile and just really mild, lovely herbal tea. Mmm. And no hint of sweetness. The pomegranate strawberry has a hint of sweetness. This one doesn't at all. And I think this one would be really great iced. It reminds me of a tea that I actually had from Switzerland. It was herbal and just alpine and lovely. Similar, because there's like chamomile notes. Just really nice. We have the Seftali Kaisel, which is the apricot peach. This one too has kind of a reddish hue to it. it smells great. Here we go. Mmm! That has a nice tartness to it. And has subtle peach smell to it. And just a touch of sweetness as well. Very nice. Really aromatic and lovely without being too perfumey. Great. This probably would make really great popsicles, I think. Yum. All right, let's try the green tea next. Mmm, has a slight minty smell to it. Mmm, very unlike any green tea that I've had before. Not at all bitter, quite smooth, and just a slight touch of mintiness. Mmm, nice. I like the fact that it's not bitter at all. And lastly, we have the Elma. Elma, which was the apple tea. Let's give that a taste. Mmm, again, beautiful pink reddish hue to it. Mmm, that's really nice. Really lovely apple aroma and smell. 
and I love the fact that it's not sweetened. It's just really appley and lovely. It smells great. Think of a warm and very, very mild cider, and you get something like this. Not at all sweet, and of course not spiced, but... Let's give the Falim a taste, which is the mastic gum. And here's what it looks like inside, and it's wrapped in a bit of paper. And I wonder what it says. Turkish friends, do tell me what this means. Is it a little fortune? I don't know. All right, so here's the gum. Mastic is an ancient resin. I actually had a mastic gum in my Emmy Eats Grease video. I'll put the link down below. But I've never had this one before. Let's give it a taste. It did like moss. Mmm. Wow. It's actually quite rubbery. Initially soft, but very rubbery. Hmm. Interesting. Not at all sweet. Iris and Philip never had a gum like this before. Wow. Totally, it's like chewing on a piece of silly putty. It's really rubbery. And the flavor is quite subtle. It's a little lemony. It's a bit like lemongrass. It's nice. But it's not at all sweet, which is super surprising. And quite a workout for your jaw. I like it. Out of habit, I always like blowing bubbles with my gum, but this feels like it's too rubbery to do so. But I like the fact that it's not sweetened. It tastes a little bit like lemongrass and carrots. It's nice. All right, my baby's crying. Gotta get going. Iris and Phil, thanks so much for sending me these little Turkish teas. It was delightful, and I shall finish them while I tend to the child. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care. Bye! It's another Ashrelon ice cream snack. It's here you go, much better. Oh, that one is a big fizz. What do you think's inside that one? Dino! Sorry.